Loretta Hudson. Harry Hudson. I was born and raised in Pasadena. I, that's where my father came from Louisiana to Pasadena, and that's where I was born. In, uh, in Pasadena, too. <laughs> By way of Mississippi and Oklahoma. My dad's from Mississippi and my mother's from Oklahoma. And I was born in Monrovia, but we moved to Pasadena in 1953. And I was raised, basically raised here in Pasadena. At church. Uh, Friendship Baptist Church in, I see. Yeah, in 1964. No, no, it was before that we got married in 64. Um, I don't remember what, what year, but we got married in 1964. Might have been, been 60 or 59. Yeah, something like that. I believe I am. I believe I, I don't know. <laughs> I, she's just a nice looking lady, you know. That was it. I was a young girl, I was 14 when we first met. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he had a car. <laughs> and he was, uh, well, he's only three years older than me, but at the time, he was older. Uh, so he went to the church, so my mother allowed him to come by the house, because she knew his parents. And um, so it just kind of evolved from there. 1964, our first son was born. Three children, five grandchildren. All our kids went to John Muir, and we also graduated from John Muir. I think it's real important, and, and I, I just come to this conclusion as I've kind of gotten older and wiser. It's very important that, especially our black males, have a man in the house, have that influence, that guidance. Women can raise children, male or female, but I really think that a male child needs his dad. And so I think it's so important that the parents be together to raise the kids, you know, male or female, but especially for the male kids. And, you know, it's just important for the unit because as they get older, they're going to do what you did. And to me, that would kind of keep it going. But um, I think so many black families are split and, and uh, things are being done in different ways and the kids don't have that same sense of unity and they don't feel uh, that they need it when reality they do. Yeah, we're still yeah. at the same church. <laughs> Friendship Baptist. So, well, uh, as younger people, we kind of got away from it. We were boating and camping and, you know, in our early 20s, 30s. Um, but all the time raising the kids. So, there was never a disconnect with the kids. So, uh, but, you know, we um, eventually started going back to church again, and we're very involved. I don't think so much anymore. I used to. Um, because of the way of the world, it's not always possible anymore. Everything's changed. The economy has changed. You know, for whatever reason, a person may or may not even have a job in order to maintain the property. Um, I think it is important that uh, we leave something to our kids. And we've, we've arranged for that. Doesn't necessarily have to be property. I do. And I've been at my job 40 years this year. Proud to say that. I've I retired, been retired since 68. Uh, Harry. I got, yeah. I mean, uh, 86. That's right, 86. Because I got hurt at the job. And they retired me. And I got hurt in 82. And it retired me in 86. Oh, okay. Well, we've got two grandkids in Arizona, and they're 15 and 16 now. And a son in Arizona. A son, yeah. And um, once I retire, we might be spending a little more time in Arizona. But nothing, nothing major right now. Just maybe to, uh, like I said, downsize and get a smaller property and. Um, you know, just kind of do some things that, that we like to do. So we're not sure what that is yet, but, and it's not so much to travel. Huh? We're not, and also our health is not allowing us to necessarily be doing a lot of traveling. But there's lots of things to do in California and, you know, between here and Arizona. <laughs> so, and my oldest, and the second son has an RV. So we are planning to take some, a uh, couple of big trips with him. 
since 1964, so 2004, it was 50 years. What are we? Mm -hmm. 2014 was 50 years, so 52 years. That was just last year. 15, we, we uh. We married in 64. 50 years old. We married in 64. Yeah. October 2nd, 1964. <laughs>